Full court Friday rolls on with St. Joseph Ogden and Olympia. Spartans up seven in the second quarter and adding to it. Evan Ingram with the three ball to make it double digits. Bench like that. And there's a student section. That was the first time I've seen that all year. I loved it. A few minutes later, Hayden Brazelton gets the miss and the put back bucket to make it 14. And right before the half, sophomore Ty Pence finding some levitation. I love it. The big time slam. He's only in 10th grade. Pence goes for 24 points, 10 rebounds. We take another look with our high-definition camera <laughs> and slow-mo editing equipment. 81-58, St. Joseph Ogden away. All right, Brett, we're going to have to challenge that play in this one. Illini Prairie has Unity and Rantoul matching up in Tolono. Unity leads by 10 in the second, and they add a little insurance with Nate Drennan coming in to the lane for Tool. Rantoul there tries to cut the deficit. Jackson Freeman with the catch and shoot behind the arc. And to close out the half, it's Unity's Dylan Rutledge with the buzzer beater. Trent Frazier would say, cash, cash. <laughs> Unity goes on to win this one, 53 to 32. Let's head to the cater for St. Teresa and Tuscola. We start with Miller stripping the ball from Jalen Quinn, taking it all the way for the layup. Nice start for St. Teresa in this one. Then a baseline move by Geis, who gives it to Harper for the score, but you can't keep Quinn down for too long. He'll make a nice cut here to get three. He had 23 points tonight, but it wasn't enough for the Warriors. The final 51-49 Bulldogs take the win. Meanwhile, in the Vermilion Valley, Georgetown Ridge Farm rolls out the welcome mats. For Hoopston area, Georgetown's Travion Brown gets two points here. Georgetown would go up 13-6. Then the Jerkers, Anthony Zamora, gets two points, driving the lane there. Hoopston keeps the ball in bounds while Georgetown able to score off it. Not exactly what they had planned. Brown gets another two points. Georgetown goes on to win 49-35. Other VVC action. Armstrong Potomac takes the short trip to Salt Fork. Pick this one up in the third. Brady Tevibaugh gets three to put them up 15. It's a storm. Looks like they are going to roll. AP trying to hang tough. Luke Gordon driving the kind of throw up there the shot put but he finds nothing but net second time's a charm for salt for garrett taylor for two 69 59 storm pick up the nice win and our final prep visual stop takes us to the mount of pulaski as the hilltoppers host warrensburg latham and it'll be lane murphy with the three then josh lawson steals the ball mid-air take a look at that to end the third quarter and it'll be more from murphy another three 45-38 Mount Pulaski defends their home court. All right, guys, that's it. Just one more week of high school hoops. The Alana are going strong, though, and they got plans for a lot more than just next week. It's March. Io DeSumo is slowly getting back on the court. But will he play tomorrow at 7th Ohio State? More on that next.